I haven't been around for a while here in Zevelen. It's a big day. We will do our first off-road test, so I'm very curious to see how that will go. We haven't done extreme off-road testing like we want to do today before, not even with the diesel version. So of course we are a bit worried about our baby, but there is no way around. We have to try and we have to learn how to do it. We're going to try and test the winch and also we get some air out of the tires and drive over some big rocks and see how it behaves, how it feels, how the tires work. So we are here at this little off-road park in Liechtenstein, which is just a big uh, wild riverbed. And it's the first opportunity to actually go full off-road. And we want to do some test drive in this rugged terrain here, just to see uh, how it feels. And then also we want to test the winch by pulling the truck up there to where the tree is. This is about a 45 degree angled slope which is going to be very scary. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> and this is nothing compared to the volcano. Yeah. yeah, we're standing here scared of this terrain. And then I'm thinking back to when we were at the Ojos del Salado at the volcano. So this should be like a children's birthday party compared to the expedition. <laughs> we'll see now. <laughs> it's just we have to get a bit of courage. What's the reason you, you try to do it with soft tires? The goal is that we have the maximum grip on the rocks in the desert, in, uh, on the volcano. We have to drive with less air in the tires, so we have a bigger surface area that touches the ground. When we're in really soft material, we can completely deflate them till they're like just a few centimeters above ground. And then we will definitely never sink into the ground. Test number one. Yeah, I start, start easy by trying to just pull the rock a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem for the winch or anything. So it's just uh, to warm up and wait till Dave and Patrick are here. Uh, even <laughs> pulling it is hard, you know. <laughs> If this was at 6,000 meters, I would already be dying now. First time you're testing the winch? First time testing it on the load, yeah. Alright, alright. Let's give it a go. That was not too hard. So how much you can pull with the winch? Uh, well, we can pull about uh, 12 tons with it. So this was like not even close. That was probably like one or two tons. But still, it's better to start like that than go straight to the big hill. So it's wrong. No worries, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's really great to see Terran operating um, in this field he has to be. So. Yeah, but you don't have to sit on the ground. I have angst to begin. Try it again, quickly. <laughs> 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 
bounce to bounce to bounce to look ah new rally pilot <laughs> Nico how are you yeah. yeah she's she's good she's starting very early on with some adventures in her life <laughs> exactly yeah you have to start early <laughs> how did you get used to the, the family life so far yeah, it's now a few months since I'm my dad. Things got more complicated, but I enjoy it. <laughs> At the moment, peak evolution is the biggest part of my life, and so um, yeah, I'll, I'll take her with me, and she also enjoys to have some action and go outside and see what's what's going on. Test number two: use the winch on a 45 degree slope. Ja, viel schneller, bist du nicht! Warte mal, das hilft, das ist ein neuer Eventer. Uah, er sagt dann! Nein! Nein! Ja, vergiss das! Vergiss den Scheiß! Ich oh, bin immer streng! Oh. Oh. Und gib ihm noch ein bisschen! Das ist going to be fun! 6000 Meter da auf der Seite! So now we're gonna try the winch. We attach it to a tree over there. None of us have ever tried anything like that. So it's slightly nervous. And we have this bungee rope set up. So this thing might just take out the punches. It feels long some. Let it fall It doesn't look right. The winch is not synchronized with the truck speed. Yeah, feels long, so. Yeah, I think it's a very good idea to postpone the world record expedition for a year, so they actually have proper time to test everything here in Switzerland before they go. Huh? So we can work on our winch skills and driving skills and getting fit and oh, I think it's a, in the end it's a really really good decision that we change for one year okay <laughs> oh it's the action time Just testing the crab walk on our vehicle so we can put the rear and the front wheels in the same direction. Especially in steep hills, this is really useful. I mean, it's really scary at the start, but at the same time, driving it is so easy. No matter if you're like this in the slope or flat or downhill, it always feels exactly the same. The engine has so much power, so it's really easy to drive, which is confidence-inspiring. 